guys, it's Evelyn, and today I'm going to be doing another video, and I know I haven't done a video in like two or three months, but I will explain why further in the video, and you guys like my little setup here, I know the back is a little ugly-ish, but I got a really good lighting here, so I have my desk, and that's where I'm filming right now, so I may have this surface to be on, <laughs> and my window is right here, so I have really good lighting right now, and yeah, do you like my shirt? So the struggle is real. I like the shirt. Let's get started with the video. The video I'm doing today is a $20 makeup challenge. I went to my local Walmart, and for those of you who don't know what the $20 makeup challenge is, basically you go to any place that sells drugstore makeup, like Walmart, Target, Walgreens, anything like that, that you have around you. Um, and you basically have to try to get a full face of makeup under $20. And I succeeded this challenge. So, I went to my local Walmart, you can see right there, and I, my total was, you can see right here, $18.50. And so I saved $1.50 with getting a full face of makeup, what would naturally be a full face of makeup, so, yeah. Anyways. Uh, I'm not counting the brushes as part of the $20 because I just, I don't know, you could do your makeup without brushes, but since I have them, I'm going to use them anyways. If you guys want to see a makeup collection, let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely do that for you guys. I think that'd be a fun video to do. So yeah, I will show you guys the brushes and things I'm going to be using during the video, but yeah. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I think you put on is, I don't know how to do the whole foundation concealer thing, this is my first time using it. Like, um, well, the first time that I, one of the first times, because I, I tried filming the video yesterday, but the lighting was horrible. I looked like a ghost for some reason, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, so other than that, I've never done, dealt with foundation or concealer. So I'm assuming, I think my sister told me once that you have to put concealer before you put foundation. This is the concealer I'm using. This is the e.l.f. Studio Concealer in Beige 83 172. I found the ones that I thought best matched me. This might be, I think this one's a little light for my skin. I don't know, maybe, maybe not, but we shall find out and we shall see. And for my mirror, because I don't really have like a, like a, you know, those circle mirrors that like magnify. I'm just using what I got for Christmas, my palette. Um, I didn't put it, I didn't make a what I got for Christmas video. I just didn't really kind of want to, to be kind of honest. I got the Beauty Treats 48 palette. I'm not going to be using this for, um, what's it called? Like, for the makeup. I just need the mirror. It's a pretty big mirror. I don't want to blind you guys, but that's how big it is. It's, like, it kind of resembles an index card, a little bit bigger. But if you guys want to see the colors, these are the colors. I don't know where it's from because I got it for Christmas, but yeah, these are the colors. They're super pigmented and I love them so much. Me and my sister both got a palette each. So, yeah, these are amazing colors. I really like this one. I think it's number 48. It's so pretty. So I swear, I, will, I promise you guys, I will not use the palette. I pinky promise. You guys, pinky promise. Okay? This is us right here. This is us, alright? <laughs> but anyways, starting off with the concealer. This is the concealer itself. The packaging, I love elf packaging. I like the black packaging. I, I think it's so pretty. And then just the, what just says, elf concealer. If you guys don't know what e.l.f. is, it is a really cheap makeup brand, and e.l.f. basically stands for eyes, lips, face, and so it just really has everything to do, you can get a whole face of makeup there. The reason I didn't get everything, like every single little thing, was because I couldn't find my shade or like something like that. So this is the concealer, this is like, uh, this was, let's see, this was $3, and I think it's worth it to be kind of honest, because concealers do last longer. Sorry, I'm like zooming, I'm like going in and out, I don't know why. I'm like on the leaning tower of plushies right now because my chair is super short and it look weird otherwise. I want some coffee. I'm drinking a Starbucks drop. It's melting because I've had it for a while, but it's okay. I'm going to open it. This is what it looks like. And I'll swatch it for you guys. It's right here. Can you see it right here? Yeah. Well, and my sister taught me to do the triangle and plus YouTube, obviously. My sister didn't really teach me, I just kind of watch her do her makeup sometimes, so. And I 
started wearing makeup um Christmas I think or like after Christmas because that's when I got my first palette was this one well my like I guess not my first palette because I had little ones that my aunt gave me but this was like my confirmation from my dad letting me use makeup basically he bought me makeup so yeah obviously why would you buy me something that I'm not gonna use my dad doesn't really mind my mom was the one who was always like you shouldn't be wearing makeup you look young and honestly I think she thinks that I try to look good with it I honestly just do it because it's fun I look like a cloner now but yeah this is how much product you get and then it, and it lasts you a while so those of you who are like oh my god it's such a little product no it's a lot of product so yeah so now I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out but anyways oh I'm gonna be using the Danielle found well, foundation brush I like using this brush for concealer I had another concealer before this, but it was too light, so I only used it once. And I gave it to my sister because she's a lighter skin tone than me. So now I'm just going to blend it out. And like I said, I'm not too good at this stuff and I don't know what I'm doing, to be kind of honest. So I'm just kind of working what I've seen beauty gurus do. And so, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. What your guys' is life been? I probably have to speed this up because probably gonna take too long I have to blend and blend and blend blending is life all right this side and I, I'm dabbing because I don't know I feel like um, when you rub it it just kind of gets rid of product I rub a little bit but not like the whole entire eye like I have to rub down here because I don't want to squish my eyeball but now I'm just talking nonsense so I'm just gonna quickly speed this up and I rub around the edges to just kind of um what's it called to uh oh my god what's it called to like blend it a little bit as you can see this is a bit light for me so sorry. I'm just gonna use my fingers to blend it up so that it's not crazy white on my skin the foundation match is pretty good though this I'm not too shabby about. Like I wore it today. I wore a concealer today. And it looked pretty normal. So you can see it looks actually pretty good right now. I had to put on foundation still, but yeah. Okay. So next for the foundation that I got, this is the foundation. This is the Rimmel London Stay Matte uh liquid mousse foundation in 400 natural beige. But yeah, and this was $4.97. So yeah. So now I'm just gonna put a little bit on my palm. I'm gonna work in little, like little by little. This is what it looks like. It looks weird. It looks kind of cool to be honest. Like, looks like little raindrops. But yeah, I'm just gonna use it little by little. I don't want to waste the whole product. And I mean, it's a lot, but like I don't know. I just don't want to put too much on either. So now I'm just gonna grab it and I don't know how to do the foundation you guys, honestly. <laughs> I'm just kind of working off of what I've seen again. So now moving on, I'm gonna go with blush I guess, blush and bronzer. I got the, what's it called, hold on, let me just close this up, close this up, put this aside. I got the, um. Should I get it on the eyelid? Okay. This is the one that I got. I got the Elf Studio Contouring Blush and Bronzing Bronzing Powder. Uh, that's what it looks like. It is in Saint Lucia in 83601. So it's pretty worth it to be honest. And I love the packaging. And it does have a mirror. I don't want to blame you guys. I think I might have, but you know, it does have a mirror. So that's awesome. I like close up mirrors sorry if I keep on most messing with my foundation I just want it to look okay pardon me okay sorry I'm getting carried away with myself I'm not conceited I'm sorry I mean what is there to be conceited about with this face <laughs>
I feel like your foundation is supposed to be, or your concealer is supposed to be lighter than your foundation anyways. So, let's hope for the best. But, anyways, moving on with the blush and bronzing. I'm going to be using, um, look how cute it comes with the packaging. Sorry, I might have blinded you guys with the mirror that it comes with. Um, what is it? Oh, I can't get it out. This little protective thing. I'll just put this on all of my videos. It says elf. Oh. But I'm going to be using the Danielle Contour and Blush Brush. It is pink because because um, I have my own blush besides the one that I got. And this one. Elf one in blushing. So I like that one a lot. So, yeah. so I don't know how to contour and all of that jazz. So I'm just going to try my best. I honestly don't even know how to apply blush either. But it's okay. I think, like, I think I like this one a lot more though, to be. It doesn't look super shimmery. Oh my god, color to my face. Yes. <laughs> Take it. But moving on, I am moving on to so much prouder on my on my desk right now. But okay. Um moving on. I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow. I got the elf flawless eyeshadow. Golden Goddess in 21622. I just find these brushes so weird. Like, some of them are so weird. Like, literally just a little sponge. Like, you can't do much with that. Yeah, I'm gonna do mascara. This is the e.l.f. mascara. This is the 3-in-1 mascara in the shade Very Black. It is lengthening, defining, and volumizing. And this was... Three dollars, I believe. Three dollars. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so packaging is really pretty. I like black packaging. Anything. I like black clothing. I like black really much anything. So, let's do this. This is... So, I opened this before and I was like, oh, the brush is really weird. But, like, it's super weak. Like, look at this. Do you guys see bending? So, I feel like I'm going to break it because with my other ones, like, I can just... Like, this is the... Great Lash, the Maybelline New York one, and lots of blushes. I can just like open and close that thing like crazy, and it's super sturdy. Like open and close that thing like crazy, and it's super sturdy. Oh my god, this is so good for like getting the corner bristles. Oh my god, yes. I mean, it's okay for a few dollars, but it seem better. Does anyone else do that face like when you're doing your mascara? Now I'm just going to put on some lipstick. This is the e.l.f. lipstick and it is a smooth and long lasting coverage in Posh 7706. Cool price for a lipstick. Let's see. This is the lipstick and I really like this color actually and it smells phenomenal. Phenomenal. But yeah, that is... Oh my god, this is a 40 minute video. It's gonna take forever to edit. Anyways, that is it, you guys. I am stopping here because it took forever. And it's probably not gonna be 40 minutes long in reality, but we'll see. Anyways, so yeah, this is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I saved a dollar and fifty cents in this video. I love you guys and bye. Do you see the lipstick? <laughs> okay, this is just like a right away after I filmed the update. This is what it looks like. The mascara is pretty good. Lips, I really like it so far. Oh my gosh, I'm here because I'm not professional. <laughs> um, but anyways. See my these eyelashes keep sticking together. Do you see this? They're like battling each other. What is going on? Oh my gosh, this doesn't happen with my other mascaras. What if my eyelashes stay stuck together forever? Oh my god, it's not good. Oh my god, that was really annoying. But yeah, it's an update. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.